I've got this little pedal car here I've been wanting to cut for a while. I cut a Radio Flyer wagon a few months ago, and I'll post some pictures here so you can take a peek of how that turned out. I left all the original badging on it that I could I could leave, and this one I'm going to try and do the same thing. It would have said Fire Chief here with the number one and the little fire badge looking symbol. And then back here, the pictures I can find online look like it said LF, but this one to me looks like it said FD, Fire Department, but it's written FD this way. So I'm going to do a little more research on that and try to figure out what that said back here. Uh, the other side, it's real clear. It said Fire Chief. I've started to kind of pencil in some lines of where I want to cut. We're going to plasma cut this, much like I did the radio flyer, little radio flyer wagon. I'm going to try to keep a little uh, line here as we go down so we can kind of keep the body line in the image. Because what happens when you take all this metal out when you cut a design of flowers or a lace-like pattern, you don't want to lose, lose the, the lines of the design of the car. And I'm planning on leaving all this moss up here. And, <laughs> and this is, I'm planning on taking this to the gallery so they're going to flip out that I'm going to leave all that on there. I like it though. I think it's cool. And I bet if we watered it, it would get even greener. So I'm going to leave it there for now and kind of see. What, what I think after we've burned through it. Try to leave it, most of it alone because it's mostly on the bumper. You know, so I'll leave all of this probably. I might cut something here in the middle. And then there's two holes up here that had a bell. Would have had a bell right here. So I don't know if I'm going to do something with that or just incorporate those into the design. And my plan is to leave a little section of this seat. So I'll probably go just past where the wheels bolt on so that we can maintain that integrity. So maybe like right here, make my pattern kind of go just on the sides and kind of come around to where these two holes are on the seat and stop before we get to that screw. And I'm gonna put a puck light, just a really soft puck light right under the seat. I've also done that before on a piece. I'll post a picture here. And what that does, it gives it just enough light, casts just enough of a little bit of a shadow underneath it so that's my plan uh, for this one. I'm not going to do anything to the wheels. I'm going to leave them just like they are. I'll oil everything so it'll have a nice warm look to it. And then back here I'll keep these body lines. But you can see it's kind of, uh, maybe you can. <laughs> it's kind of beat up back here. And it's got a big dent up on the top. So I'm going to try and bang those little spots out. And then we're going to get busy sketching this thing out and hopefully get it cut. I don't know if I'm going to put a steering wheel on it or not. I probably have something here that would be okay, that would work. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it. But the tab is there. It would be easy to attach something, make it look like a steering wheel. Let's get a pulley and throw it up there and just see what a pulley looks like. So, you know, just something like this. Although having that solid, with, uh, it's not too bad. Having it solid might look kind of weird. I don't know. I'll come up with something if I decide it needs it. I think I have a, a big turn knob down in that bucket there. That would that might work. It has kind of a cool front end. I like the front end on it a lot. I loved when I uh, I bought this at auction, and I had to pay up for this, which I don't normally do. But I got two pedal cars. The other one's outside. I'm gonna cut in as well. I got two pedal cars and I had to pay 30 bucks a piece for them. And they aren't worth 30 bucks right now. Trust me. They're bad. The wheels do turn on this one. But nothing steers. Nothing. I'll, I'll flip it over and show you the bottom. Here's the bottom of it. Man, that thing's all bent up. Metal is really toasty underneath here. Everything's seized on the front end. Except for the wheels turning, nothing moves. So the wheels do roll, but none of the steering, nothing works. So I should have been able to get these for about 10 bucks. I was a little bit, there's, there's a guy. When you show up to an auction and that guy's there, I won't mention any names. I won't mention any names, but when Doug is there, <clears throat> you're not going to get anything for a good deal if he wants it. I mean, 30 bucks wasn't bad but I would have liked to get them a lot less. 
So if I mess up, I only messed up 30 bucks. So we get the hammer and we'll kind of try to bang some of these dents out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'd like to make it kind of straight before we get started. So when I go to draw my lines, we're at least drawing on a straight surface. At least give myself a fighting chance. Yeah, I'm excited to cut this one. Let's see, how do we want to go about this? Turn this over. which is going to be our best bet here. Ooh, got one of them. It's in a really awkward spot. I may have to put a bar across it. This way, so we can hit that. You can see why the dent was still there. Really hard to get to. Ooh. I might have got it right there. Still got a little dip, of course, right in that kind of spot. We use this guy. better. Let's work on this guy down here. Too much. Overshot. Can we live with that? Let's look. It's better. Could come out a little bit more right there. That's better. A little bit more, I think, on that one. This looks much better, though. I can still see it, but once it's cut, you won't notice it. What happens if you don't cut that, or if you don't uh, kind of bend that out ahead of time, though? When you cut all that out of there, it gets more flexible and it won't hold its shape. Now, it may pop right back down where it was after it's cut, but I like to give it a fighting chance, at least. I'll pull this out by hand, maybe, just a little bit more. The two dents here and here are knocked out, though, so that's good. Yeah. Overall, the body's not that terrible, and once it's cut, you ain't even gonna notice it. There's a few little dings in it, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the funny thing was, I was bidding, and it was, uh... It was a pile of pedal cars and tractors some of which were kind of nice, and so they didn't uh, separate them out, they just grouped them together. So it was for uh, times the money. So if you bid, you know, 40 bucks, you didn't get the whole pile for that, you get the pick. And of course, I want the two crappy ones that are in the pile, and I had to pay because I wasn't sure I was gonna get the crappy ones. I let, the, I let it go, go one round, and then the second round, uh, there had been a guy up there kind of looking at him, and I was like, man, he's gonna take the ones I want. So I'd been trying to find some junky pedal cars to cut up, and you're going to have to pay 100 bucks. so at least I got, got it for less than 100 
Actually, just maybe just pull this bit here. Nope. Nope. I don't know that I can get in there to that. Well, I don't know that I want to spend the effort to take to get this pot out. Oh, that helps. How many of you are afraid of stab myself in the chest? Sticking with the pointy end. Aria Stark. That looks better. All right. That part's done. I'm just gonna kind of get the cruddies out of here and get to sketching. I was digging around in a pile and I found an old elevator shaft, or an elevator, rather, pulley. And, uh, you know, it's painted bright green, but it's it's about right. So we might we might try to work that in because it's a elevator pulley. Might be kind of a fun thing to work in, you know. Kind of looks like a steering wheel, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll see. And also, I just have a couple of these, just rings, and they're diameter-wise probably close, close enough to get the visual. You know, could be a little bigger, but. I don't know. We'll come up with something. I've got these. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. I've just been kind of spending some time drawing my design out. And I usually don't draw every line, but for the sake of the video, I will draw most of the lines so you can kind of see where I'm going to go. So my idea was to kind of stop this little scallop as it starts across the back so it kind of can com complete this little archway. Let me get up a little higher here. Anyway, that was the thought. And I'm just kind of working my way around. I don't think I'm going to bring this one down. I think I'm going to stop it so that this one will just kind of visually work its way around. And then I'll do something tail lightish, maybe, down here. Not sure yet. I was going to carry it all the way down and then pick it up here. But I think it looks better from a visual perspective to have it carry over. And I've just kind of gone and used my little rose sketch that I have. I cut a chair out of the same pattern. Actually, that's why I made the pattern, was for the chair. The chair is currently at the visitor center in Brown County. So we can have another rose thing there and nobody's going to notice. As for the scallop coming down this side, I haven't really decided if I'm going to come all the way down with it or not. It does not end evenly and it doesn't look really good around the corner. So I'm not sure what we're going to do to incorporate this right now, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on that. <laughs> and then I don't know that I'm going to put anything in the middle. I had kind of debated doing that. I'm not sure. And then all around the headlights and everything will get cut out. And I think, I think I'm going to do the lines and the headlights more like this one where you taper the length. It gets shorter as the, the middle one will be the longest line. Uh, this second line here is a, uh, just ignore that. So I'll go back in and keep drawing lines and keep adding to it. But I wanted you to see it before I got it completely drawn out. Kind of try to incorporate this. Most of this will probably burn off when I go to cut it. We'll see. Yeah, I've kind of got both of those fenders drawn out now and I'm starting to work my way back up the hood and you can kind of see how I well maybe you can how I do it so when there's a little detail like on the leaf 
or whatever right here. When I build my my kind of cutout box around it or my cutout circle, I leave those in the middle of that. So like I'm not going to put a line here to cut it off because it's more prominent visually when you leave the detail of whatever you're cutting inside an open area. So if you notice, you go along, when I do come into the leaf, it's between kind of two detail points. So I, I've learned by trial and error that gives you the best visual, or at least I think it does. So that's kind of how I work it in. Now right here I didn't do it because I want this leaf point to actually touch right here for strength. So this will just cut out that center part and let that leaf actually be my contact point for the grill or one of the contact points for the grill. So you can kind of see how different it looks when you just shade it. It helps your eye when you're cutting. And I'm not shading the whole thing because I don't want to cover up my, my interior lines. But you can see how it really changes the view of how it's going to look when you're cutting it. And a lot of this will blow away when the uh, plasma cutter air starts getting to it. Looking at it through the camera though, I'm noticing right here below the headlights, I think I might want a leaf or something there. Because that's just going to be cut out open space. I mean, you'll have the headlight will be solid, but I'm thinking maybe work in a leaf or something right there because that just kind of looks bare. We'll see. And this thing's kind of lending itself to a leaf, the, this uh, front little indentation here. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of cool the way it is. I mean, I can always leave it plain, and then if we don't like it, I can go back in and cut it out. But I think there needs to be something here and there. I don't really like the way it is. Well, I went back and added leaves down under the headlights. I like that a lot better. I do not like the leaf in the middle of the grill. It is hideous, so that is coming back out. I got myself a paper towel. I'm going to get it wet and just delete that. I got the hood all kind of mapped in, and I'm starting to work my way down the sides here and get this pattern kind of highlighted a little bit darker, a little bit uh, thicker to line, so I kind of know where I'm going to go on that. Yeah, I think everything but that on the front is pretty well good to go. This takes away from it, I think, so I'll take that off. So I pretty much have everything drawn out the way that I think I want it. And again, none of these lines will be the filler lines will be followed exactly, but just to kind of give you the idea. And I drew the colored in the line along the fender here. I did not over on this side. I just left it. I know where I'm cutting, so I don't need to worry about it. Just kind of wanted you to be able to see that I wanted kind of this line and this line to kind of come in with the hood. I may hate it, but drawing it out, I, I like it. Yeah, who knows. I did, I did cover up the LF on the fender. Went ahead and put a design there instead. I missed filling in a spot there. So that'll get filled in with some background. I like the back. That's pretty cool. If it does turn out, it's going to be, uh, be a pretty cool piece, I think. Got a really, really nice front end. I like it. <laughs> looks like it's smiling back at you or saying, ooh, let's get to cut, shall we? Well, we got a nice day today, so I have determined today, cut day, got everything all drawn out. Uh, make it into some visually unattractive looks when we get it all cut down. I may have to go in and cut some of the wheel areas and the side. Well, we have a great, wonderful, sunny day today. So I have deemed today cut day. We'll be cutting this guy. Hopefully it turns out okay. Uh, get good sunshine until the early evening hours right here. So we're just gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna start right here on this little back hump and see how that kind of goes. And if that goes okay, I'll probably jump up and we'll start here and work our way 
down. We gotta be real careful though because the hose dragging across can damage our pattern. So we just gotta be aware and cognizant of that. I won't film the whole thing. I'll bring you back in stages, but. So yeah, let's see if we can turn uh, $35 into more than $35. Or if we can, <laughs> we can lose it all. Yeah, who knows? Just thought I'd mention, I don't wear a full respirator. When I cut, I wear these guys. Uh, they work really well. And uh, stop all the black nose boogers. So, highly recommend. Yeah, I've got the back mostly cut. I don't have any of the detailing in on the flowers and the leaves, but that's okay. It'll look better once it's cleaned up and once there's detail in there. But I do think I want to turn it on its side. Uh, to cut these sides. We'll go ahead and cut the top and then I'm gonna have to flip it to get those sides. I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's too hard to keep it straight. I'm not steady enough on the vertical. So I struggled a little bit on that back section. You get it. it went pretty quick though. So I'll admit it is not cutting as well as I had hoped. The metal is pretty far gone, and so it's wanted to burn out really bad. I've got my cutter set as low as it'll go. And like right here, I may have to even go back in and repair that with a weld. I'm having to cut up here because I'm having to balance my hand to kind of guide me. Normally I don't have to do that, but it's blowing out so bad. Kind of put a little detail in that rose there. So it's, it's not cutting great. Uh, I think the hood's gonna cut okay, but down here on the sides, it's, it's cutting pretty crappy. I don't like the width of those cuts. It's gonna let a lot of light through, which we're gonna, we are gonna light this one. So that'll be kind of nice. I just wanted the pattern tighter than that, but it's just not gonna be possible on this one. So it'll look okay, I think. Just a little disappointed how it's turning out so far. We'll see. So this is by far the hardest thing <laughs> I have ever cut. It is really difficult to work with and I should probably have chose a little easier pattern to kind of go with, but it is what it is. I've got it drawn out. We're gonna go with it. I think once I go back and add the detail in on all the little roses and all that, it'll be fine. But yeah, it's taken me a long time too, just because I, have to, I had to slow way down on my pace and pick up the speed of my hand because it blows out so quick. But I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Yeah, give my compressor a little break in my back. Try to do a walk around. It's just really difficult to even do a straight line, which normally I don't struggle with just because if you hover for just a second longer in one spot, it just blows it out. Probably need to go back in and remove that line between the I and the E, since I have a, a touch point on the top and bottom. It would look better if that was gone. Same thing for the fire. If I remove that, probably look better. Did I remove it on the other side? Can't remember. Uh, yeah, so I'll go back and remove that. But yeah, this thing is uh, is not easy. Now I know why people don't do, do junky old pedal cars. I've got another one over here that's actually uh, pretty decent. The metal on it's a lot better. And I'm planning on not coming down all the way on it so that I can leave this uh, hook ladder pumper 519 on there. I think that would look pretty cool if we just cut something kind of interesting on the on the hood and not cut the rest of it maybe what the front of this one looks like and it's 
one's pretty rough too. But the metal on this one's in better shape. It's not as as uh, pithy. And that's what's getting me on this one. The, the metal is not that thin, but it's just really, really far gone. Yeah, we'll get there. All right, finish this side. The hood won't take that long. The hood will go fast. Probably cut the hood in, I don't know, half hour. It'll go quick once we get going on it. Yeah, and I totally uh, threw the body line out the window. I'm going to try and retain it a little bit better on this side. And then if it works, I'll go back in on the other side and weld some stuff back in. Make it look better. Yeah, I just kind of lost sight of that on the other side. Got a little trigger happy. <laughs> All right, we'll keep at it. happening here so you have to move so fast because if you don't it gets hot hotter than you want it and it'll burn out a spot that you don't want burn out so then want that hole that big there but I'm having to go a little bit bigger on my normal background just because the nature of the metal is not cooperating with me Well, it's all cut. It's not uh, as pretty as I had hoped it would be, but it'll be okay. If I go back in and add all the detail in, it'll be all right. It'll work. I'll throw a light in it real quick and we'll see what it looks like. Better just throw a light in it, just a flashlight underneath. It's not the right lighting. And another detail is cut in the leaves and the floral portions. And I may take out more of the background down here so that that fire chief is more pronounced, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna look, it's gonna end up looking okay. <laughs> Still not sure about the uh, cutting the seat. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna cut it or not. I haven't decided yet. Structurally, it, the car's kind of starting to fall apart, so I thought maybe I should probably leave that. We'll see. So, we'll carry on with this. Uh, it needs cleaned up. Everything needs kind of finished. Wire wheeled and all of that. And it'll be good to go. Well, here it is uh, in the gallery. And uh, I decided when I put the oil on, it was just too dark. So I took mineral spirits, took most of it off. I was then uh, to the point of almost tears <laughs> when I oiled it because I was like, ah, oh, that looks awful. So I took it back off and I'm much happier with the original rust color. Uh, as you can see, I decided not to cut the seat and decided not to light it. A light would just take away from the shadows that are created down in the middle. And the seat blocked it from going to the back. And the front wheel components blocked it from going up to the front grill area. So that kind of took away. So we just left the light out. The steering wheel that you see here is just a piece of rebar I had. And it was already bent to that shape. <laughs> and I just took a couple of pieces of round bar, put a little tiny curve in them, and then just welded it straight up to the stem. And I think that looks pretty good. It doesn't take away from the car. And it kind of gives you the resemblance of a steering wheel. And about five hours after this car was placed in the gallery, it sold to a, a local couple and they have several of my pieces and I can't tell you how happy it makes me knowing that they're the ones that ended up with it. Catch you on the next one, everybody. Thanks for watching.